Hey what's going on YouTube, it's Boost Tech here and today I'm going to be showing you how to retrieve your voice memos from your iPod Touch, iPad, iPhone or any other Apple device that you may have. So if you realise or you're a continuous Apple user, you'll notice that when you sync your iPod or iPhone to uh, iTunes, uh, you realise that you are not able to get access to your voice memos. And there are three main reasons that may have drawn you to this video. One of which may be that your video is too long and somehow not showing up in your inventory. Uh, the second reason may be that uh, one that I actually researched myself and found out that for some reason uh, iTunes don't allow you to access uh, memos that have been recorded after, ju after July, which is quite strange. And the other one uh, may be just uh, for some reason it's just not appearing either uh, because it's being it's just not there's, there's just not any communication between the two devices or because it's just you know uh just having enough day i suppose as iTunes normally does so uh, to avoid this or to um try and get around this problem uh you can simply just email uh the actual voice memo to your uh, email address uh or you can even send it through message iPad message so what you need to do basically you need to just uh, send the message to your email uh, by clicking on the share option on the voice memo off the uh, Apple device and this will simply send to your email and the, out the output of this file will be M M4A which isn't so bad because most uh, editing softwares do allow you to use M4A but if, this, if you're not happy with this you can easily just use a um, M4A to MP3 converter and still get, you won't lose any quality, you'll still get the same uh, same bit rate and same you know audio quality as you did once you recorded it so that won't be too much of a problem so that's uh, generally a way to actually um, get access to those memos. It can be quite frustrating if you're doing uh, podcasts or you may be in a university lecture and you record that and you want to get access to it and listen to it on your computer. Uh, and it can be quite annoying if you can't get access to that particular file. So anyway guys, that, that was just a quick uh, uh, YouTube tips, uh, if you like, on how to get your uh, iPad memos, as, 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 well, as well, I'm, I'm using. Uh, so iPad memos... Um, onto your computer or Mac as it may be. So this has been Boost Tech here. Thank you for watching. Rate, comment and subscribe and have a pleasant day. Bye for now.